Three Poems by Rudyard Kipling. The Secret of the Machines. Modern Machinery. We were taken from the ore bed and the mine. We were melted in the furnace and the pit. We were cast and wrought and hammered to design. We were cut and filed and tooled and gauged to fit. Some water, coal, and oil is all we ask, and a thousandth of an inch to give us play. And now, if you will set us to our task, we will serve you four and twenty hours a day. We can pull and haul and push and lift and drive. We can print and plow and weave and heat and light. We can run and race and swim and fly and dive. We can see and hear and count and read and write. Would you call a friend from half across the world? If you'll let us have his name and town and state, you shall see and hear your crackling question hurled across the arch of heaven while you wait. Has he answered, does he need you at his side? You can start this very evening if you choose and take the western ocean in the stride of 70,000 horses and some screws. The boat express is waiting your command. You will find the Mauritania in its quay. Till her captain turns the lever neath his hand and the monstrous nine-decked city goes to sea. Do you wish to make the mountains bare their head and lay their new-cut forests at your feet? Do you want to turn a river in its bed or plant a barren wilderness with wheat? Shall we pipe aloft and bring you water down? from the never-failing cisterns of the snows, to work the mills and tramways in your town and irrigate your orchards as it flows. It is easy. Give us dynamite and drills. Watch the iron-shouldered rocks lie down and quake as the thirsty desert level floods and fills and the valley we have dammed becomes a lake. But remember, please, the law by which we live you are not built to comprehend a lie. We can neither love, nor pity, nor forgive. If you make a slip in handling us, you die. We are greater than the peoples or the kings. Be humble as you crawl beneath our rods. Our touch can alter all created things. We are everything on earth except the gods. Though our smoke may hide the heavens from your eyes, it will vanish, and the stars will shine again. Because for all our power, weight, and size, we are nothing more than children of your brain. The Trade 1914 through 1918, a poem of sea warfare. They bear, in place of classic names, letters and numbers on their skin. They play their grisly blindfold games in little boxes made of tin. Sometimes they stalk the zeppelin, sometimes they learn where mines are laid, or where the Baltic ice is thin. That is the custom of the trade. Few prize courts sit upon their claims. They seldom tow their targets in. They follow certain secret aims, down under, far from strife or din. When they are ready to begin, no flag is flown, no fuss is made. More than the shearing of a pin, that is the custom of the trade. The scouts quadruple funnel flames, a mark from Sweden to the Swin. The cruiser's thunderous screw proclaims her comings out and goings in, but only whiffs of paraffin or creamy rings that fizz and fade show where the one-eyed death has been. That is the custom of the trade. Their feats, their fortunes, and their fames are hidden from their nearest kin. No eager public backs or blames, no journal prints the yarns they spin. The censor would not let it in when they return from run or raid, 
Unheard they work, unseen they win. That is the custom of the trade. A deathbed. 1918. This is the state above the law. The state exists for the state alone. This is a gland at the back of the jaw, and an answering lump by the collarbone. Some die shouting in gas or fire. Some die silent by shell and shot. Some die desperate, caught on the wire. Some die suddenly. This will not. Regis Suprema Valentus Lex. It will follow the regular course of throats. Some die pinned by the broken decks. Some die sobbing between the boats. Some die eloquent, pressed to death by the sliding trenches their friends can hear. Some die wholly in half a breath some give trouble for half a year. There is neither evil nor good in life, except as the needs of the state ordain. Since it is rather too late for the knife, all we can do is mask the pain. Some die saintly in faith and hope. Some die thus in a prison yard. Some die broken by rape or the rope. Some die easily, this dies hard. I will dash to pieces who bar my way. Woe to the traitor, woe to the weak. Let him write what he wishes to say. It tires him out if he tries to speak. Some die quietly, some abound. In loud self-pity, others spread. Bad morale through the cots around. This is a type that is better dead. The war was forced on me by my foes. All that I sought was the right to live. Don't be afraid of a triple dose. The pain will neutralize half we give. Here are the needles, see that he dies, while the effects of the drug endure. What is the question he asks with his eyes? Yes, all highest. To God be sure. That was The Secret of the Machines, Betrayed and a Deathbed by Rudyard Kipling. Music provided by Radical Face. Links to these poems and the music down below. Thank you for listening. Until next time. Thank you.